Let's make stuff. What you what you want? What you what you want? Alright, so before I really get going with this thing, uh, got to give a huge shout out to Hollywood Haunters. They're the ones, they did a, like a moldy pumpkin video tutorial. Some of them were rotten looking with mold and things like that, and they used a couple different styles of pumpkins. One for cheap ones, cheap foam ones from the dollar store, and some were for like a little more expensive ones from Michaels and stuff, and then like these garage style find old pumpkins that would have had lights in the bottom of them and gone on. Anyway, they took and carved some different faces into those things <coughs> and changed them up and, and painted them and stuff. It was a great idea. I loved it. I've had these things sitting around for a long time. So I was like, you know what? I want to do something uh, along those same lines, except on these. I am going to carve the faces out a little bit different, but then we're just going to use... Uh, cotton and mache paste and then do a corpse method over the tops of these pumpkins once we carve the faces and stuff out on them and then repaint them and all that and change them up. So basically we're going to take old pumpkin you can find them at yard sales or even if you got some at home these were real popular years ago. We're going to just take these these are old they actually broke apart I re-glued them back together change the faces up and give them a whole new look and then give them a paint job. Should be pretty straightforward. All right, so the first thing I want to do is just figure out uh, what how I want to change this to make the faces a little bit different. Anyway, I want to go ahead and draw, do an outline around the mouth and the areas I want to take out on these eyes. Maybe I'll make these eyes a little bit bigger like that, who knows. But uh, I'm going to play with those designs for each pumpkin and then uh, we'll start cutting them out. New faces drawn in, <clears throat> pretty simple. Uh, now we're gonna cut them out. I'm just gonna take a serrated steak knife and use it to make all my cuts. I am going to go ahead, I'm going to take a Dremel though with the sanding pad, I'm going to kind of clean a few of these edges up on this. Not too concerned with this one except for maybe this edge through here and here on the side of the mouth. And then we're going to start corpsing these things. Yeah. Hang on. I'm going to start with this dude, uh, just because I think he looks pretty cool. You could almost uh, really just go out like this and he looks like a whole new pumpkin. And it's just going to be uh, cotton and mache paste. Alright, this corpsing process, <coughs> just cotton, paper mache paste, uh, my paper mache paste mix that I use and I use all the time now. It's tight bond two, wood glue, and water. That's it. Uh, nothing else. So anyway, cotton ball. Should be able to find where it just kind of wraps and starts. And then you're just going to unroll cotton ball until you got a strap like that. And we're going to take that and put it in that and put it on there. Just to give you a better general idea of how I'm going to do this. 
Uh, I'm going to take some mache paste. I'm going to put it onto the pumpkin first, and then I'm going to lay some cotton on it and spread that paste on top of the cotton. And just start corpsing this thing out. Uh, you can probably be pretty haphazard with it. Make some strands and things like that. Uh, make it gooey looking or whatever. It's going to work. Um, I may build some of these ridges up a little bit bigger with the cotton. But I, you just see how it goes. It all depends on how I feel or whatever. And what I think. How it's looking or whatever direction I want it to go in. But... A little mache paste just brushed right onto there, just like that. Piece of cotton. And we're just going to lay it on just like so. And then take our mache paste and <clears throat> load it up and pull the cotton down with it. Or just bring it down to the pumpkin. It's all pretty simple. You can do, you can do a lot with the cotton. You can make raised edges by not having, putting so much pressure on it and just feeding it the mache paste and letting it soak in. Uh, you can flatten the stuff out and make it way more, <clears throat> um, I mean, you just, you just basically just flatten the stuff out if you want to flatten it out. And, Raise it up, just all depends on how much pressure you're gonna leave on it. I think some of that cotton, like right here, I think I'll leave a few of those strands hanging down in the mouth. That's kind of neat looking. Get a little mache paste on them and let them harden up. They'll still take paint, they'll look fine, but yeah, this is how I'm gonna do it. I'm going to speed it up and we'll corpse this thing. With that one, I just kind of built it up, and it pretty much looks close to the same. It just has a little bit different texture than what the original pumpkins got, a little bit thicker. But I think with this one, as I spread the cotton and stuff on this, I may try to go ahead and pull it apart and just make some kind of funky looking texture where it's just kind of torn or whatever. Again, this we're going to bring the mouth tight together where like it's pulling apart. I'm just going to have some fun with this one and try a few new things and see um, what happens whenever I uh, put the cotton corpsing over this. It may be really cool and it may uh, it may look terrible, but uh, <laughs> we're going to find out. So it's set for, <laughs> honestly, it's set for a long time. It's uh, really dried out. But you can see everything's really kind of that cotton soaked up, all that glue, and it's really shrank down. Uh, you can probably go ahead and paint this. It's going to turn out just fine. It'll look good for you. Uh, and actually look better than what it did as the original pumpkin. But we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and layer it up one more time. Just bulk it out a little bit more and go from there. And just like the other one, on this one here, 
Uh, <clears throat> I mean, it looks pretty cool. It's really shrank down quite a bit. I uh, debated just leaving it and going with it, but when you kind of look at it from a distance, it just still seems kind of like it's just kind of a round thing. Uh, so all I'm going to do on this one, I'm not going to recover all of it. I'm just going to go in on the top sides and I'm going to add, bolt these up a little bit more so it kind of, we get that pumpkin look here. I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom and maybe hit just a few sides just to kind of bring that dimension out of it again. It doesn't look bad, but I just feel like it, it needs more of it. If you're doing this at home, paint this up right now, good to go. Um, I'm just going to push it a little bit further. All right, so our uh, garage sale style pumpkins have been uh, pretty well updated. Doesn't look too bad. Looks better than, well, quite a bit better than what they did. Uh, you know, stock. First thing I'm going to do is base these out in an exterior latex black paint, and then we'll get on to paint the color. I'm not going to really worry about... Uh, on my mache projects, I would generally water seal this first, then paint it, and then water seal it again. But the fact that this has got this hard foam back into it, because we started with a foam pumpkin, and then this is uh, basically cotton balls, I'm not going to worry about it. It shouldn't break down. It should be just fine. So, so I'm going to uh, give this a base coat of black exterior latex paint, and then go from there. Now that we got this all based out in black, we're going to do a little um, white dry brush all over these things. Uh, that will give me the option for <coughs> if I just want to use a watered down orange kind of stain and make things come out. I can go ahead and do that. Or we can go through a more extensive painting process, just depending on how I feel. But we're going to go ahead and knock this out anyway. So we got both pumpkins. They're both... Uh, dry brush with some primer. I think I'm going to go ahead and do this um, relatively the easy way. I'm going to make a wash. And basically a wash is just going to be my acrylic paints and they're going to be watered down to thin them out and just wash it basically all over it and let it dry out. Um, I'm going to mix a little. I always, any of my pumpkins when I start them, I always do a little bit of brown and orange to get darker dirtier orange color and that's kind of my base and then after I do this wash I make him through with some uh, just some straight orange and highlight some of these areas make them a little bit brighter and then I may go ahead and hit it with some yellow dry brush as well um, we'll see that's how I'm going to do this one we're going to do the wash on this one too but some of these areas like this, uh, we may do some painting to make it look uh, rotted. We'll figure that out after we get some paint on this thing, but let's take care of this one first. The wash is uh, done. I mean, that looks pretty decent right there. You could really just get away with that. It's not a bad look at all. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and go with just some straight orange and do a little highlighting around this whole thing. I'm going to do it to the other one too. 
yeah, we'll get a look at that. Maybe we'll do a little more with some yellows and stuff. But uh, right now I'm just playing around and having fun. And really, when you're doing it, just, I mean, yeah, just have fun. Because what's the worst thing that can happen? You're going to have to repaint it. It's not really that big of a deal. So, uh, yeah, let's do some highlights. So that helped bring uh, some of that orange out a little bit, and it's actually looking pretty good. But I am going to go ahead and use a little yellow and a real light dry brush and just enhance a few features on here to bring them out just a little bit more. And once we're done with that, I think we'll go back through and blacken down around the eye sockets, around the mouth, and then we'll hit the stem with a little bit of watered down brown and call it good. I know it's so hard to tell with this camera and the lighting and all that, but that yellow, you know, we got some yellow highlighting in here, here, you know, it just brings a little bit extra, a lot of yellow highlighting around the top in a few spots, and I like to hit the bottom where it's kind of raised out some, but that yellow Doing that yellow really, really just adds extra depth to it and uh, just a little more flair. And I like the way it looks. And in person, it looks so much better than right from what I can see on there. Doesn't really pick up much on the camera, but when you're really here and really looking at it, it adds so much more to it. Um, just really enjoy that. So he's all done. We'll do some brown on top and finish him out. This guy here already went through and did the second round of the orange. I think I am going to hit some yellows on it too. Basically doing the same thing I did with that. And then I think a few of these spots, like there's this little spot in here. And then when you look close, there's a few spots I can turn into some um, rotted, little rotted areas. And we'll just add a little rot detail to him. And see, basically looks rotten. So let's paint some more. So put a little black in around all this stuff. It helps highlight it out. Sometimes I'm torn. Sometimes I think um, when there is a little bit of orange on there, it's a little more realistic, but whatever. Uh, I did go ahead and do some brown on here. I'm going to go ahead and take some lighter brown and just do some highlights on the stem there. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I already went ahead and did the yellow on this as well. Um, once I get the stems done, We'll see about making some rotten spots on this one. Alright, so we're going to call this guy done. He looks pretty good. And looks quite a bit better than what he used to look. This guy here, we're going to add just a little bit more detail 
we're going to do some little rotten spots. And i got to give uh, all credit to uh, Kathy Labou. She has a YouTube channel. Just look that up. She did uh, some rotten jacks uh, earlier on last year. And they look really good. Uh, so inspiration came from that. So we're basically just going to paint up some little rotten spots on this and put some more intrigue into him. Basically we're going to use brown, black, and white. Starting out with a little brown, mixing some black in there, and then stippling on some white around the outside to kind of resemble mold. Or, you know, just rot. So, uh, yeah, we're going to pick a few of these spots and do that. And there you go. That's pretty much quick and easy way to throw together some pumpkins or actually, you know, to redo some older garage find, garage sale pumpkins that you had laying around and give them your own looks, you know, their own characters, something that you just can't find in the store all the time. It's not really that hard. You don't have to make an armature. You already got it. A little cotton and a little uh, paper mache paste. Change the looks of it and you can bring what was a dull, boring, uh, old pumpkin back to life. Check out Hollywood Haunters. They got another great tutorial on how to do this in a different fashion. And guys, go check out Kathy Labou as well. She got some great videos. And you can find the tutorial on hers on how she did her rotten pumpkins because her rotten pumpkins are actually kind of smashed up and really rotten looking and they look really, really good. I hope this tutorial helped you guys out. Maybe learn something new. Hopefully it inspires you to go make something as well. Um, if you're new to paper mache and all that good stuff, there are other tutorials on the site. But if you're new, this is kind of a easy way to get into it, right? You're not doing armatures. You're just enhancing <laughs> something that's already there. So if you're not too sure about your skill, dabble in it and have some fun with it. Until next time, keep making something from nothing.